welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if you are new. In today's video, I am taking you guys with me to Target. I shared it a few videos back that I got a little sneak peek of that Hearth and Hand collection, the Studio McGee collection. Have you guys seen it? It is beautiful. There's so much stuff I wanna pick up today. So I thought I would take you guys along for the ride. We're gonna to go to Target. Hopefully I'll be able to find a lot of stuff from the collections and then I'll come home, film a haul for you guys. So let's head to Target. So at first we're gonna be starting in the Studio McGee collection and you guys can see all of the new beautiful throw pillows. I personally don't like to change out my throw pillows for the springtime, but if you do that, these would be some really pretty options. You could also use them year round too. And this little marble tray I thought was beautiful. This lumbar pillow that's coming right up, this neutral one, I loved it, you guys. I may go back and pick that up. I didn't get it this shopping trip, but I currently love the one on the master bedroom, but I love that one too, so I would love to own that one and just kind of switch them out. Target had some beautiful decorative bowls. That was $35, and they also had some gorgeous bookends as well. I love these huge bead garland that'd be beautiful, like draped inside of like a decorative bowl. These shadow boxes were gorgeous. You could use that for shelf styling on your coffee table. I also loved this basket. Do you guys think this was worth $50? I feel like you could get that same exact basket at TJ Maxx for like half the price. So now I'm gonna keep my eyes open for that. I wish I would have seen this gold tray when I was getting my Christmas decor because I picked up one in their last collection and it was like an oval. This one's circular and I love the shape much more. So if you need a gold decorative tray, definitely come to Target. This was a very neutral, pretty option as well. What do you guys think about these vases? I see a lot of interior designers picking them up and using them for shelf styling. I like them, but I don't feel like I love them. Maybe it will grow on me, but I went ahead and passed on it. I think I would like it in someone else's home, just not quite my home. Okay, you guys, this chair I'm obsessed with, it is beautiful. This was probably one of my favorite items from the new collection. If you guys need a new chair, definitely pick that one up. I don't need not one more chair, but if I did, I would get it. And she had so many beautiful vases in her collection. I was really looking forward to seeing that um, lamp that just got released. It kind of looks like concrete and like distressed. I was hoping to see that in store, but I didn't get a chance to see it. It wasn't in stock at my location. We are now browsing the Hearth and Hand collection. Those little containers I just picked up would be perfect for yogurt parfaits. I actually own some similar ones to that one. She had beautiful like dish cloths. I ended up picking up this little sugar canister, not in this shopping trip, but I went back to get it. That olive tree that I have styled in my kitchen was there and this new bathroom collection, you guys. I loved the texture on it. It'd be so pretty on the floating shelves in my guest bath, but I already picked up some stuff for that, so I didn't get it. But if you need some new soap pumps and canisters, definitely pick them up from this collection. The 
This bench reminded me of the chairs in my living room, but in a bench form. I loved it. This would be gorgeous at the end of a bed. They also had some ottomans. If you guys didn't know, I got those two ottomans under my console, my living room from Target. They are really good quality. They look beautiful. So if you need some ottomans, check out Target. Okay guys, we just got home from Target. I unbagged everything. We got quite a bit of stuff. Some things that I didn't even know were in the collection. So I'm excited to do a haul for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff in no particular order. I'm so excited about all of these goodies that I scored. All right, first up is this beautiful like marble Lynx. This is from the Studio McGee collection. It's really heavy. It has like some weight to it. This was $35 and I saw this and loved it. I thought this would be so beautiful on like a coffee table and like a decorative bowl um, for some shelf styling. It would be pretty on my nightstand. So it was like one of those things I saw, I was like, I need it. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it at yet, but I know I needed it for $35. That is such a good deal, you guys. And it has like a lighter marble, which is gorgeous. And then it has kind of like a grayish color. So this will be beautiful. I'm trying to think, I kind of have like a link on my coffee table already, but I'm like looking around for a place to put this, but we'll definitely find a spot. Next item I got is this beautiful vessel. I saw it, I love the color of this, you guys. It's like in between a brown and like mustard and it has speckles to it. And it kind of has like a rough texture. This was $30 and I think that's such a good price for this. I'm eventually gonna be doing some floating shelves over our new furniture piece I'm gonna be sharing with you guys when I style all this stuff. But until I do the floating shelves, I'm sure I can find this at home, but I really want this to go on the floating shelves. I think it'll be so beautiful. They also had another vase there as well that would pair so well with this. I didn't get it and now I'm thinking about it. So maybe when I go back to Target, I'll get that one. Next item I got, I always get questions about that little tiered wooden tray I have in my kitchen. I store a candle on top of it. That came from TJ Maxx. I found a better one, you guys. This one was only $12.99 and it's just a wooden little pedestal. They call it a footed tray and I love this. You can put little desserts on top. How I'm gonna use it is as a candle stand. Make sure when you're lighting your candles, always make sure to have it either on the lid that it comes with or a stand because I have burned through a candle before and ruined a furniture piece. So I always try to buy these little like candle stands. It's a great decor piece, but also it's very functional as well. It protects your countertops, your wood surfaces, anything you're gonna light a candle on. And it just looks so pretty as well. So you can put this on your coffee table with the candle on top, um, the kitchen counter, like it's endless. You could also use this as a little like, like a leveler to style a bookshelf if you wanted to kind of like elevate something. That would be really nice to do that. I just love this. This is by the Hearth and Hand Collection. And for $12.99, this is such an amazing like little candle holder. You can also put um, like some um, jewelry on top if you want to put it by the sink. I'm always taking my rings off. So this would be good for that too. I just loved this so much. And you know what, you guys, soap pumps. You can put a soap and a lotion on top of this in the bathroom. So you can get quite creative with this and I just loved it. Next up, I picked this up from Target like a week or two ago and you guys may have seen it peeping through my videos, but I wanted to officially share it. So I have the coffee one of these, this is from the Hearth and Hand collection and I've been wanting the cookie one for a really long time. I wanted something to be able to store on my counter and put all of like my dog treats in here. So I have currently my dog treats in here and it's perfect even though it says cookies, it's my dog's cookies and I think it's so cute. I love the wooden top that it has and I love that it's, it's like an off-white color, like it's really warm and it looks so beautiful displayed on the countertop. There's so many different ones you can do. There's a flower one, a sugar one, like you can literally get the whole collection, but I really wanted the cookies one and it matches my coffee one. So excited about this and how much was this? This was only $19.99. 
Next up, I'm so excited to share this item with you guys. I actually have something very, very similar. If you guys didn't know, I have one of these guys on my kitchen counter and I store all of my utensils in it. It is slightly different. I got mine from Target from the Studio McGee collection, but they no longer carry mine anymore. She actually created a different variation. It's almost identical. Mine has two handles on the side and this one kind of has this little like design all the way around. And I love it. I'm currently using it to store my utensils. I wanted one to be able to style. You can have some greenery come out of here. This is actually a planter. You can get it and put your utensils in it and store on your counter like how I'm using mine right now. But I really wanted this to put maybe on top of some coffee table books. Um, you can keep it empty. You could put greenery coming out of it. I've seen so many interior designers pick this guy up from Target and style it so many different ways so you can really get creative. So I saw it, had to have it. This is only $25, you guys. It also has a little hole at the bottom, so if you want to put a real plant in it, you can, but perfect for storing your utensils, perfect for styling. Next up, I picked up, this was on my wish list, and I'm so excited I got my hands on it. It is this stoneware, it's just like a um, bowl, like a decorative bowl, but I just love like the detail around it. I have a bowl very similar to this. I love how Studio McGee, the line comes out with different things each collection, but it's very similar to like older collections. I have one of her bowls that's very similar to this, but it doesn't have this detail around it. Saw this, love this. You can never have too many decorative bowls. You can use this to style a coffee table, a console. I have my little bar area over there that I can style it on there. It'd be beautiful on a dining table. You can put like knickknacks in it, keys, wallets, that type of thing. I like to keep mine empty. I just think it looks really minimal, beautiful. You can style this on top of some coffee table books. This was $30. So that's such a good price for this, you guys. I just had to have it when I saw the detail. And I also have like a little area underneath my nightstand that's like meant for styling something. So I may slide it there. I haven't decided where I'm going to put it, but it's one of those things you see and you know you'll find it at home. So Love this guy. Next up, I got another candle holder. I told you guys I'm always having candles around the house and I don't want to ruin any of my furniture and it just looks really nice to have a little stand for your candle. This was 19, no, it's actually $20. Um, and I think this is just from the, yeah, it's from the Threshold Collection. I love it. It matches the hardware on my kitchen cabinets perfectly. So I thought I was going to store my candle on here. So that way it protects my kitchen, like my countertops, but it also looks really pretty too. So this would be gorgeous with a candle on top. You could do so much with this. Also, you can store your jewelry. You can do soap pumps on this one as well, but I think this would make the perfect candle holder. They also had a smaller one as well if you have a smaller candle, but I thought this one would be perfect for the kitchen counter. I didn't realize I got so much stuff. Next up, I just took this out the wrapper so you guys can see it. It is these bookends, and I want to say this was $20. I'll have it linked down below for you guys, and it's just these marble bookends, and I love this one. They have another one at Target that kind of is like an arch. I like this one better because you can have your coffee table books in the center, and you don't have to worry about them falling over. It looks really pretty, and it also matches... I can't hold it with my two hands, but it also matches these links I shared with you guys like perfectly. So it would be so beautiful on a console. Saw these, had to have them. I will say this is an item that I probably wouldn't order online. I would go in store because there were so many different variations of marble in store. Like some were more to the tan side, some were more to the gray side. So I was able to pick the perfect one that I loved, but Definitely go in store because they had so many different variations and they all were kind of different. So if you can get it in store, definitely would. Next up is one of my favorites. This is a cookbook stand. This is from the Hearth and Hand collection. It's only $19.99. Saw it, had to have it. It has this beautiful brass lip, wooden in the back. It's just beautiful, you guys. I plan to use this in my kitchen. I also can use it on my buffet too. I want to be able to keep a cookbook open and just have like a nice stand. The one I have is like super old. I thrifted it like several years ago and I wanted something a little bit more elevated and I love adding like wood tones throughout my kitchen. So I thought this would be so perfect. So I can't wait to get my cookbook and style it, but love this. Next up, I saw this and loved it, you guys. It is a stoneware jar. It was only $15. And I got this to style on top of some coffee table books. It does have a lid and it is airtight. 
So if you wanted to put like some dog treats in here, you could do that. Or if you wanted to store some flour or sugar, that would actually be really pretty on your countertop. You can store whatever you want to store in here. But I wanted to use it more as like a decorative item. And I thought it would be so pretty displayed on top of some coffee table books or just on a coffee table in general. Next up, this is probably, I'm looking down to make sure I'm saying this, but yeah, this was my favorite, favorite item from both collections. Like, this is beautiful, you guys. This is a marble dish. It was only $25. This is one of those items that I would go in store to get as well because they had so many different variations of this. Some were more brown, some are more cream, some are more tan. I picked the perfect one that kind of had a mix of all the colors. This would be so pretty on top of a dresser to store your jewelry. This would be a pretty catch-all tray to be able to put your keys and wallets on. This would be beautiful to be able to put a candle on top. I want to put this on my console like I know it's gonna look good there and it's just such a beautiful like catch-all tray but also such a beautiful you can actually store this on your dresser and put your perfumes on here like the list goes on I'm actually considering getting two of them one for our family rooms so I know for sure I want to use it in the family room and then also one for our master bedroom so I can be able to like put my jewelry on here I'm looking around and this is definitely my favorite item I picked up from the collection because you can just use it for a million and one things. And for 25 bucks, why not pick it up? So that's everything I picked up from the Studio McGee and Hearth and Hand collection, but I picked up some random items as well that I wanna share with you guys. So I figured I would include it in this haul. So this is from the dollar spot. So I'm not gonna be able to link this below, but it's these baskets. They're, I think they're produce baskets. They just, they call it wired basket, just white. And it has a handle on it. That also comes in black and like a blush pink color as well. This would be perfect, you guys, to be able to have. I garden in the summer and I'm always looking for like a little basket to bring my fresh herbs in. So this would be great for that. But mainly what I'm gonna use it for right now is I currently store all of my potatoes and onions in the pantry and I store it in an acrylic like organizer like acrylic container and I've been wanting a mesh basket for a while so I found these in store I was debating if I wanted to get the black or white one but my pantry is mostly all white so I figured just keep the white trend going but for five bucks you guys like this is perfect you can put so much stuff in here kids toys like this can be like a little shopping basket like how cute but I saw it and I was like this would be perfect for the pantry. So definitely pick these up if you guys are looking to organize a space. You can also organize like a bathroom cabinet, put washcloths in here, like the list goes on. Five bucks, definitely pick them up. And then the last thing I picked up is this stapler and I needed a new stapler for my office. I currently have one and it's like falling apart and it's gold. I had to have it. I actually have the scissors from this Project 62 collection, which is just gold scissors. And I wanted the stapler. I want like the whole collection. They have a tape dispenser. They have a few other items as well, but I definitely needed a stapler for my office. So this is going to go on my desk. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was super affordable. So I will link this below. Everything I picked up from the Studio McGee Hearth and Hand collection, I picked up some really good goodies. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. Stay tuned for a future video. I plan to get this stuff like styled and set up. So get excited for that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button down below. Join the family here on my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.